Education has come a long way since the days of classrooms like these, and rightly so. However, that's not to say that everything about modern education is perfect. A fifth of pupils leave school still facing serious difficulties with literacy and numeracy. When I started work as a teacher in London secondary schools, I saw the human impact of this. So why is it happening? I think that one of the main reasons is that modern teaching methods assume that you can teach skills and that you don't have to bother with facts. But the truth is, you can't teach skills without facts. And there are some facts you simply have to learn before you can progress any further. Here we have a map of the British Isles. And right here is London. Over the last 50 years, we've discovered ever more about how our minds work. For example, that everybody has a limited working memory, limited to a maximum of about seven new items. Any more than that, and we get overwhelmed. That's why we can't just rely on the internet to look things up. And that's also why it's so important to memorise things. When you memorise something, you commit it to long-term memory, leaving valuable space in working memory free for other things. That's why it's easier to solve a maths problem when you already know your times tables. Unfortunately, in research I carried out, I found that many prominent educationalists and even government agencies were giving advice that rang directly counter to this evidence. Too often, they would dismiss fact learning as being outdated and grad grindian, but that's simply not true. And of course, learning facts doesn't have to look like this. There are plenty of modern and engaging ways to help children remember. Modern science is clear. Memory is vital for learning. It's time for modern education to learn that lesson.